Hello everybody, welcome to Resinet. Today we are going to be working on these little crystal faceted resin knobs that I bought from Amazon maybe about two years ago and I just haven't had a chance to give them a try. So I am ready to do this. It came with the molds, four molds, four different shapes and I've mixed up about three ounces of resin or so. Um, and I want kind of a really light translucent paint color, uh, dye color, I mean, <laughs> for these, as I think it would just really make a beautiful little knob. And uh, these molds also came with several different um, screws, different sizes of screws, and the backings. And I'm going to be using just this purple uh, pigment. It is not alcohol ink, it's just a regular dye. And I don't want it too strong, so I'm gonna start off with just a little bit here on the end of this stick. Yeah, this is not gonna be quite dark enough. You can just barely see it, so we're gonna to need to put a bit more in there. Okay, let's try this. kind of hard to tell with this color of matte that I've got here. It's a bit of a kind of a pinkish color, so the purple I think is kind of getting lost. I need it against white, I guess. Okay, yeah, I think this is about the shade I want. It's almost clear, okay, but it has just a little hint of kind of a purple color to it. So I'm not going to put any more than that in there. And I've actually got a little rolling drawer that um, I would like to be able to replace my knobs with these. So I'm really hoping this works out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray just a tiny bit, really lightly of alcohol in those, just to kind of give myself a little head start there with my bubbles. And yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this. I'm using J. Diction resin today and the pigment that I used, the ink was not alcohol ink, it was just a regular ink that I got on Amazon. Gosh, this little knob here is going to take up quite a bit of resin. Okay, that took almost a whole ounce, just that one, but that was my largest one, so hopefully the rest of these will fill up okay. Almost went a little bit full on that one. Okay. Okay. That was just enough to fill all of these. And actually almost a tiny bit too full on this one here. All right, I think that's gonna be really pretty. So I'm gonna let these cure and give a quick spray. And then um, when they're done, we'll be back and we will see if we can get these put together. Okay, I will see you then. Okay, hey everybody, I'm back. Um, these little little crystallized knobs are all cured, so I'm ready to demold them and see how they turned out. I feel like they just have the potential to be really pretty. And I put them out here on this little white glittery holographic paper because my background here is a real similar color to the to the color we chose. Oh my gosh, wow, look at how pretty that turned out. Look at that. That is really pretty. I really like the, the really light purple color. That turned out really pretty. And so I guess our, is our knob going this side or let's go on this side here. Yeah, because these are all different sizes and they all different shapes. So it'll go here and I'll probably just take a bit of UV resin 
to glue that on, I mean to connect that, but wow, what do you think? What do you think of the glitter, the little bit of faint gold glitter in there? That's really pretty, really, really pretty. Okay, let's get the rest of these out of here and see how they all turned out. Here is the biggest one. I'm going to just roll this one out of here. Okay, there we go. just really pretty. This has got just a little bit of a rough edge here. I just have to take a little, just a little sandpaper and just sand that off. Just the rough part, but gosh, really pretty. Really pretty. Right? This is the little, I think this is the smallest one. Oh, this one's really pretty too, you guys. I really like this is pretty. I feel like this would be really pretty. This would go on this end, so it would look like this. Really pretty. Really pretty. This one's just really kind of small, so it, um, it really, it's really pretty. Dainty. You know, I wonder if I can get this to cure on here. These are, these are cured, but they're just a bit squishy. I might give that a try and see. Hmm. You want this part facing out for your um, screw. Just kind of squish this together in for just a second here. See if I can get a hold on it. Okay. And this is the last one. This one is kind of the square, or this one is kind of more of, the, of a diamond, diamond shape. Yeah. You know that one? Really pretty. These turned out really, really pretty. I'd be interested to know if you, any of you have uh, tried this, and if you have, what you used it on. You know, what, um, what colors you chose, and... Um, if you're happy with it, if they've held up pretty well, I think I am probably going to have to come in with some UV resin and just make sure that, that I've got these connected right. Since you're going to be pulling on them, you know, this, this will make a really tight bond. Um, if it's, if it's going to do it, it's going to really do it. Like this one that is on there really tight. I can't pull it apart. So yeah, this might have worked. I might have caught it in time where, where they are going to cure to the, to the little. I think these are plastic. I don't think these are metal. I think these are just little plastic knobs. But wow, guys, look at. We got them on there, and they're actually staying on really. They're really um, adhering really well, to the resin. So yeah. If I leave these overnight, there's a good chance that I wouldn't be able to take them off if I even, really, if I wanted to. So, here's the color. You can see it a little bit better against the light. So just a really, really, really light, I don't know if that would be a lavender, just a really light purple. It was so pretty. Really pretty. All the fauceted little um, sparkles on here. Super pretty. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, little project we did with these knobs. I've been wanting to try these for a long time. And after I get them connected to my little drawers, um, my little rolling cart, I will get a picture posted for you. Okay. This set that I bought, pretty sure it came from Amazon. It came with a lot of different screws, a lot of different sizes. But there's a, there's a lot in here, um, plenty, but what it didn't really come with a lot of were these, <laughs> okay? It gives you enough to make a total of eight of these, but it probably, gosh, it probably came with 30 or 40 screws. So 
anyway, super fun. And now I'm excited to make some more of these. Thanks, everyone. I will see you next time. Thank you.